Hmm. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm running late. I need to get ready. I hope I have time for makeup. Where is my cosmetics bag? Here it is. Wait, where did it all go? What am I supposed to do? Sam! Sam what? I didn't do anything. You didn't take my makeup? As if I need your girly stuff, you better ask Samantha. Samantha will never confess, even if she took it. What should I do? Wait, I think there was something left. Yes, I knew it! Right, I may not get to the meeting today, but at least I'll hide my makeup well. Hi, guys! Most of my makeup is gone. But to make sure nobody finds the rest of it, I've decided to hide it where Sam and Samantha won't look. Inside fruit! Give a thumbs up if you also believe that Sam and Samantha won't find it there. We'll start with the base, liquid foundation. I want to turn it into pomegranate. We'll need this styrofoam ball cut into half like this. Aha! My craft sense is tingling, crafting something without me. No, no, Sammy. I was just tidying up and found this styrofoam ball, and… Oh, you're tidying up. Then I'm off. Yes, yes, go, or I'll make you tidy up too. Oh, no! <laughs> right, let's continue our craft. We'll make a dent in the ball, the size of the foundation bottle. Styrofoam is so soft, so it's easy to do it with your fingers. Like this. And the same goes for the second half. Great! Now let's place our foundation bottle into the dent. Ah, <gasps> a perfect fit! Let's use the glue to connect the halves. It's super glue, as you can see. Not using hot glue here. It can create a gap. We don't need it. Let's press our halves together. Like this. It doesn't look like a pomegranate, right? But this will help. We'll need some dark red felt to create the pomegranate skin. We'll use special fabric glue to attach the fabric to the ball. Let's apply the glue like this in one strip. And carefully glue the fabric to the ball. And we'll repeat that with all four sides of the fabric. Apply some glue… And… Press. Don't rush it, though. Okay. Now let's cut off the excess to make sure the fabric fits perfectly. Be careful with the scissors. Don't cut away too much fabric. You'll still need it to glue to the ball. Make sure there aren't any gaps. The felt should cover the whole surface. Guys, we don't cut away the corners. They will imitate the tips of the pomegranate skin. And this will help us make the skin look even more realistic. We'll take yellow fabric to imitate the inside of the pomegranate skin. And we'll attach it to the red fabric. Press it well to make sure it doesn't fall off. There! On each tip, nice and slow. It should look convincing. We'll need some paint and a paintbrush to give our pomegranate an even more realistic look. We'll use yellow paint just like the inside of the pomegranate skin. It looks almost done! Now let's cut the tips carefully. Uh-huh. And another one. Yes, just like this. The last thing we're going to need are these plastic half beads. Red, of course. We'll glue them inside. They will imitate the pomegranate seeds. I won't add too many. Yep, that's enough. This looks amazing! I can't believe it looks so realistic! And it works! I think it's even more convenient this way. Now I won't break it like the last time. Huh, this shade is a bit too dark. I think I bought it when my skin was tan. But okay. So this is the start. How should I hide the rest? Oh, I love this lip gloss. It smells just like… Coca-Cola? Are you drinking Coke without me? No, Sammy, it's lip gloss. Do you want to try it? Oh, no, no. Keep your girly stuff to yourself. <laughs> to make sure Sam doesn't change his mind and doesn't steal my lip gloss, I need to hide it well. I think this artificial banana will do perfectly. Let's cut the banana in half carefully like this. Be careful with the knife or ask an adult to cut it for you. And we need to make a hole inside. Huh. Cement? Hmm. I need my favorite guy to help me. Sammy! Who called for a master ball tray? I need you to take out the cement from the banana. Uh, don't ask what for. Will do. Who 
could have thought that there would be cement inside of an artificial banana. If you're surprised too, give a thumbs up. It wasn't easy, but it's done. Thank you, my little master. <laughs> it looks great. Only white color is a bit unnatural. But no problem. We'll use yellow paint again. And paint all the white parts. Well, those that are visible, that is. <laughs> While the paint is drying, we'll use hot glue. I need to secure the lip gloss inside the banana to make sure it doesn't fall out. There. Carefully now. I don't want to break anything. And we'll glue the second half, the cap. Carefully again. There. And here's the result. Let's try to open it. Wow! Mmm. Very convenient. Which is your favorite exotic fruit, guys? Mine is carambola. But now it's not only the most delicious thing in the world, but it's also a great place to hide my favorite mascara. I can't think of a better place. To imitate a carambola, we need lots of glue. But this time, we'll use both the glue gun and glue sticks. We need to glue the sticks to the mascara. They will soften and take the required shape. And we're going to need five sticks. This will be the base for the carambola. Let's cut the tips a bit to give it a more rounded shape. But to make the carambola bigger, we'll use more glue. We'll apply it like this and leave it to dry. Don't be shy with the glue here, but don't overdo it either. Our carambola should keep its shape. All five sides are done! Then we need to prepare some water. And now we'll use a construction blow dryer. But please, use it only under adult supervision. Wet your fingers a bit, and then smooth out the surface of our carambola. Repeat it until you get the desired smoothness. Let's add a bit of green color to make it look more like the real thing, but only on the edges. Dab, dab, dab. Perfect. Are you painting without me? Well, I'm, uh, um... Doesn't matter. I only wanted to say that Gary and I were racing and I won! 20 times in a row. Sam, but Gary is a snail. He can't... Gary is the best snail in the world and my friend. Give a thumbs up if you saw the videos with Gary. <laughs> and I'm off to play with tater tots. Go on, take your time. And I'll finish making my sly crafts. I'm going to use this mascara. So I need to cut the carambola carefully, exactly where the cap of the mascara is. Glue can be hard to cut, so be very careful. No rush. And so, guys, the mascara is done! <gasps> Yay, it opens! Look, I think it's even more convenient to use it like this. They say that if you drop your face powder in the morning, your whole day will be unlucky. Just kidding. But it's still quite unpleasant. We can avoid this if we put our face powder into a safe place, like a drawer, a bag, or an orange. It's easy. First, let's mark the width of the powder box on the ball. Hey guys, do you remember which craft we used a styrofoam ball like this? In a different video, I mean. Write it in the comments. Okay. Now that we have everything traced, let's cut out the middle. That's where our powder will go. Let me remind you again to be careful with sharp objects. Oops, sorry, Susie. Tater Tots and I are playing. It's all right, have fun. Okay, hey, Tater Tots, I caught the disco ball! <laughs> yes, that's what we used the styrofoam ball for before. And I'll continue with this craft. Now we'll use some glue to attach the powder to the halves of the ball. I'll just apply some glue here and press. And the second half on the other side of the powder. The process is the same, see? And hop! Let's press it well. And done! Perfect! Now let's paint the edge of the powder box to make sure it doesn't show. Use a sponge brush to make things easier. And orange paint goes on top! It is an orange after all. <laughs> huh, I wonder if there are oranges of a different color. We're also going to need a green glue stick. Let's make the orange stem out of it. It'll look even more natural. And there. I'll just cut off the excess. Carefully. 
Huh, it's almost like sharpening a pencil, right? Let's attach the stem onto the orange. <gasps> Great! Now we'll use an orange pencil to make small dents. This way, the orange skin will look even more like the real thing. Done! Let's take a look inside. Vitamin C is really good for your skin. <laughs> Guys, here's a piece of advice for you. Never go to bed with your makeup on. Use makeup removers. I don't know what I'd do if my lotion disappeared as well. Luckily, I've got one bottle left. And I want to hide it well. First, I'll need a piece of foil. Let's wrap it around the bottle like this. Carefully. Don't tear it and press it well on all sides. Now let's take some more foil and make a small ball out of it. And then cut it in half. Oh, that was easy. We're going to need more. Yay! Let's take our foil half balls, apply some glue on them, and stick them to the bottle. One by one. They should be glued in a staggered order. And we need to repeat the process several times until the whole bottle is covered. Just what we need! So guys, did you guess what fruit I'm making this time? You will now know if you haven't yet. We'll take some yellow felt and cut it into small pieces. We'll need lots of pieces. I'm not using a ruler here. These pieces don't have to be perfect. Just small squares, approximately the same size. It's better to take felt here because it doesn't fray. So now let's glue some of the squares like this around the foil half balls we glued on earlier. You know, this process is actually very relaxing. <laughs> and… Lovely! Make sure there aren't any big gaps. Let's glue the rest of the squares like this. Apply some glue along the edges of the square. Two of the edges. And then stick it onto the bottle. So guys, did you guess? It looks very realistic. <laughs> Don't forget to cover the bottom with the fabric. I'll add that finishing touch to the whole craft. And… There! Right now we're going to need green felt for the leaves. It should be cut like this. Let's attach them to our bottle. We should use the glue carefully to make sure it doesn't stain the fabric. And attach the strips to the cap. There! Some more. Now the second darker row of leaves. It'll give the craft even more volume, using different shades of fabric. But you can use one shade too. So I'm sure everyone has guessed now that it's a pineapple! Yay! Look how cool it is! <gasps> this looks like a real fruit basket! We can use everything in our crafts, even leftovers from previous crafts. We can use this to disguise my lip balm as a lychee. My lip balm already has a perfect lychee shape. We'll need some glue. Let's apply it to the surface of the balm and make it into a thin layer. And now let's dip it into the styrofoam crumbs. <laughs> oh, they look like cupcake sprinkles! And now let's repeat it all over the surface of the balm. Perfect. Dip. And then we need to paint it white. It'll be the base. Lychee isn't white, of course. Have you guys ever tried lychee? Write in the comments! Now let's give our lychee some color. We'll use hot pink paint for this. <laughs> it almost looks like Sam's color, right? Dab, dab, dab! And, um, let's add a bit of green to make it look even more like the real thing. <gasps> yes! This sponge brush is so awesome! Look, guys! A real lychee! Uh, what have you got there? This? It's an exotic fruit. An exotic fruit? I don't recognize it. Wanna try it? Uh, no. Fruit isn't my element. Even exotic ones. Even pretty ones like that. <laughs> well, fine then. I get all of it. <laughs> Be my guest. I'll go search for candies. <gasps> I think it worked! My makeup will be safe now! That's amazing! Guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. New crafts are coming soon! Bye bye Huh. <laughs> I still can't believe I fooled him.
Hmm. All right. Uh, yes, I got it. Okay, everything's clear. Yes, finally, I'm ready for tomorrow's exam. Right, Susie. I'm going to check if you're ready for your confectioner exam. No peeking. <laughs> All right, Sammy. Ask your questions. <clears throat> Susan, what is the main ingredient in pumpkin pie? What? Is there such a question? Y yes, there is. Answer the question, Miss. All right. I think it's pumpkin. Yes, that's right. Pumpkin. <sighs> Next question, young lady. How to make the best caramel popcorn? Uh, let me think. Oh, place the kernels into the microwave for three and a half minutes. Make it four to get that lovely caramel coating. <laughs> okay, okay, four then. The last question. Who makes the best ever pancakes with syrup for breakfast? I think I know. It's Susan. <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. Mm -hmm. You're welcome, Susie. You're ready for your exam a million percent. You've got nothing to worry about. But I'm still a bit worried. Really worried. I know how to help you relax. Follow me. What do you have in mind? I'm coming. Whoa. It's soap, Sam. Why did you bring so much soap? Did you cut it? Yes! Try cutting the soap, Sue! Hmm? I've never done anything like this. <gasps> wow, it's awesome! Where did you learn about this? Where? On YouTube, of course. It's called ASMR. It's supposed to relax you. Oh, amazing! It really is relaxing. This is so unusual. I've got Sammy to thank for this. I've never thought of using soap this way. Yahoo! This is a real soap paradise! Ah. Oh, and this wonderful pink soap is turning into curly shavings. Hmm. Soap rain, soap rain, <laughs> Right, Sam. I think we cut all the soap in the house. All the soap? Not a piece left? How should I wash myself now? Uh, actually, we've got lots of pieces. I think my exam tomorrow gave me an idea. I know what to do. What, Sue? We'll cook us some confectionery soap. Cook? I think this exam is having a bad influence on you. Trust me, Samuel. It's my turn to surprise you now. First, help me collect all the soap. Maybe we'll just go buy new soap. What do you think, Sue? Guys, today we're going to make soap shaped like the most delicious things in the world. We're going to need a pot with water, a spatula for mixing, a pizza knife, and of course, lots of soap. I'm not going to eat that, Susie. I brought a book in case you want to bake something real. <laughs> sure, Sam. Guys, be very careful doing this process. If the soap gets in your eyes, rinse them with water immediately. Let's get started. First, we need to melt the soap. Place the pot with soap over a bain-marie until it melts completely. Sammy, what confectionery shall we make first? I'll say in a moment. Perhaps, uh, it could be, yes, a cinnamon roll. That's right, a cinnamon roll. I love the smell of cinnamon. Great choice, Sam. Guys, give a thumbs up if you love cinnamon rolls like Sam does. We're going to need vanilla extract, golden coloring, and of course, the cinnamon itself. We'll add some golden coloring into our mixture to make it look like cinnamon roll dough. We'll add some vanilla extract to make it smell nice. As well as some cinnamon. And mix it all through. Guys, the soap we're going to make will look and smell just like real food, but please don't try to eat it. Mmm, it smells so nice. 
Can you smell it, Sammy? Mmm, it smells like a real cinnamon roll, Sue. Now we're going to need a foil mold. It's easy to make it yourself. While pouring the soap into the mold, be careful. Don't burn yourself. Use a towel or an oven mitten. We'll add some more cinnamon to enhance the smell. Now, we need to wait a bit until the mixture partially sets. Sue, what about baking real cinnamon rolls after that? Of course, Sammy, I'll make cinnamon rolls for you. Could you check if the soap has set? Susie, it's ready! Great! Let's unroll the foil and carefully take out our aromatic piece. Here you go! And cut it into half lengthwise. Now we need to shape it like a cinnamon roll. We'll just roll the soft soap like this. It's easy, but take it slow. Done. We'll do the same to the second part of our soap. Do, 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 Like the real thing already. But to give them an even more realistic look, we'll mix cinnamon and almond oil. I'll give them a really good mix with a regular brush until there aren't any clumps. Then we'll apply the mixture to the rolls. Just like this. We can add as much as we want. And there's never enough cinnamon. <laughs> so add more! And for the finishing touch, we'll add soap glaze. We'll use white melted soap for that. Using a squeeze bottle, we'll pour the glaze all over the cinnamon rolls. There! Done! What do you say? Wow! Do they look like the real thing indeed? And they smell so tasty. <sighs> You're a real magician. Can you make a whole cake? Hmm, Sammy, let me think. I guess I can. So, guys, Sam wants to make a cake. I love cake! <laughs> Here's your hat, Sammy. Guys, give a thumbs up if you like cake too. And we begin. We are going to need the same white soap base for the cake. Let's place the bowl over the bain marie. We're also going to need yellow coloring and vanilla extract. I'll add them to our mixture. And stir them carefully until the ingredients incorporate completely. Great! Now it's time for our soap pieces! Uh, here they are! Thanks, Sammy! I'll pour all the pieces into the mixture. There, until the last piece. And mix them all through, of course. Mixing is something you need to do a lot when you make soap. Wow, Sue! This looks like fruit pieces in the cake batter! Right! We'll pour the mixture into our mold where it needs to set. Be careful, it's very hot. Done! While our mixture is setting, we'll make the frosting. To make it, we'll need some dish soap. I'll pour it into the bowl with melted white soap base. And whisk it with a hand mixer. It looks like whipped cream, right? The mixture changed so much! <laughs> like real frosting! Susie, you know, a good girl will always allow her friend to try some frosting. Sam, you know it's not real frosting. I don't want to poison you. <laughs> oh, right, right. It just looks very convincing. Hmm, that's what we're aiming for. Guys, we'll take some of the frosting and place it into a pastry bag. We'll set it aside and add some pink coloring into the remaining frosting. Then mix it all through. Now we have two colors of frosting. 
I think it's ready here, Sue. You're right, it's ready. Time to get our cake out of the mold and decorate it. We'll cover the whole cake with frosting. The pink color will be the base. Guys, you can decorate the cake however you like and use any colors. What is your favorite color, by the way? And we'll make rosettes with the white frosting. This is my favorite part! Susie, how about using these pretty things? Great idea, Sammy! It'll make the cake look even more like the real thing. Have you got any round candies left? Huh, let me take a look. Here! I think they've expired. Huh. Take these candies! Thanks! They'll come in handy. They'll look really nice on top of our white rosettes. Look, guys! It's just like a real cake! But I hope it won't stop you from making a real, real one! <laughs> Alright, Sam. Our cake won't fit into any soap dish, so we'll carefully cut it into pieces. Be careful with the knife, and ask an adult to help you cut the soap. Ah! And this is the final result! What a trick! I almost believe that it's real! Huh… What about natural sweets? Natural? Like what? Like… honey! Honey? Honey made by bees? Oh no! I'm going to need my bee net! Um… Where is it? Where? <laughs> Sam! Where are you going? There won't be any bees! Oh, he left… Dear viewers, if you like natural sweets, then you're going to love our next soap. We're going to need the familiar soap base… and this honey. As well as almond and orange oils. Adding the honey into the melted soap… Did you know that this pretty spoon is used for honey? Give a thumbs up if you did. It's very easy to scoop honey with this spoon. Let's pour a bit of our essential oils. And mix it with the spatula. Really well. It smells like honey. So bees must be nearby too. Sam, oh. it's store-bought honey. There aren't any bees here. Will you put your hat on? No, I'd better stay safe. As you wish, Sam. Guys, to make it smell even better, we'll add some orange zest. We'll just zest our little orange like this. Be careful with the zester. Don't hurt yourself. Mmm, it smells so nice. Done. Now let's pour our mixture into the molds. We've got this honeycomb mold here. Very pretty. Guys, you can make the mixture of a different color by replacing the white soap base with a transparent one. And adding some coloring. If there's some foam on the soap, rubbing alcohol will help. The soap has set! We've got honeycombs of two colors. Let's check it out! <gasps> Whoa, what a pretty pattern! And there should be a little bee on this one. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Beautiful! It looks like a real honeycomb and no bees! Now we'll place them into this little jar. It'll be easy for our guests to take soap out of it and use it.
And each guest can have a soap bar of their own. A great idea, Susie. If you're making sweets, even soap sweets, you can't forget about the classics of confectionery donuts. Oh, right, Sammy. We need to make delicious soap donuts. Will you need these sprinkles? Sprinkles? Hmm, why not? Let's take this donut mold and pour some sprinkles into each cavity. This should be enough. Donuts usually have sprinkles on top of the glaze, so we'll make a classic donut with pink glaze. I approve of the color pink. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'll carefully pour a thin layer of pink soap mixture into our donut molds. Then, we'll make the second layer. To make it, we'll add a bit of yellow coloring into white soap base and mix. There! We get this mixture of a very beautiful color. Almost like donut dough. We'll pour it into the molds over the set pink layer. There. To the very top. Oh, I can't wait to see the result! You'll see it in a moment. Let's take it out. Awesome! What do you think? The sweet expert approved. I'm glad. We've made a whole pile of pretty donuts here. Thank you for watching, guys. Give a thumbs up if we've inspired you to make this soap and send us some photos of your soap sweets that are too pretty to use. See you soon! Bye bye Viewers, time for a new video! But, um, I can't find my assistants, neither Sue nor Samantha! Oh well, I'll have to think of something. Oh, it never hurts to have a snack! <laughs> hey, ew, it's not food! Ooh. What were they thinking, living stuff like this around? I'll comfort myself with a dunnit. Oh, oh, what? Oh, no! What's without the yelling drama llama and taking other people's stuff? So, it's you. Did you want me to choke? What are you talking about, Pipsqueak? I made this to hide makeup from Sue. Hide it from Sue? Why? So she wouldn't take it back so fast. Take it back? Do you mean it's her makeup? What if it is? I need it. Samantha, let's talk. Seriously, we need to shoot a video and you're fooling around. You are the one fooling around. It's important stuff and you're just distracting me. Oh, then that's what we're going to show. Oh, come on! I'm not going to shoot a video about it. You won't make what me. What about fame and popularity? Well, fine. I'll make an exception. Give me a moment. <clears throat> so, Samantha, tell us, please, how did you manage to disguise this face powder so well it even fooled me? Sam, uh, take your microphone and go. I need space to work. Right. First, I'll tell you how to hide face powder in waffles. You'll need some polymer clay, flatten it into a circle, make it the size of a real one. You'll need to make dents, like the ones on the waffle. A square lipstick cap will do the trick. Just make the dents all over the surface. To make it look more like a real waffle, you need to paint it yellow. Apply a couple of layers. Like this. And then... And then add some dimension with brown paint. And of course, you need two of these. Let's glue the powder inside. Be very careful. 
It's a good idea to take powder in a light case to make it look like cream between the waffles. But you can't do it with white powder only. We need to apply some glue inside. Just go all around the powder container. Make sure you don't stain the powder itself or glue the lid to the bottom. That wouldn't be fun at all. And then paint the glue white. To make it look like the real thing, apply several coats to make it opaque. The paint will add some texture as well. Paint some strips with brown paint to make it look like chocolate. <laughs> now we only need to add cherries on top. And done! Mm, so yummy! Oh, I forgot it's not real! Ew! <laughs> and if you take a photo of it, you can't even tell if it's real. Give a thumbs up if you agree. And now, how did you make such a real looking donut? Not from polymer clay. Nope, I did it with a hair donut. A donut? For hair? <laughs> Stop laughing, it's just hey. a name. Uh, I actually use it quite often. You need to glue that donut to the powder. By the way, you'd better take powder in a black case and paint over the brand name on the lid to hide it. And now comes an interesting part. Let's take a glue gun and make glaze out of glue. Try to remember how real donut glaze looks like and have fun with it. We've got a chocolate donut here, so I'll paint it brown. I think many of you like donuts. Write in the comments, what's your favorite flavor? I do like chocolate. I need to remember this donut isn't real. <laughs> Now, I only need to glue some colorful sprinkles. There can't be too many sprinkles on a donut. And done! I'm not going to taste this one. A donut hair, really? But it's very pretty and a great disguise. Oh, these fake sweets made me hungry. I'll go eat something. Hey, wait for me! Must have more! I just know it! Oh, I need to find where <laughs> Hey you, what are you doing? Oh, I thought you were in the toilet. I was looking for some other makeup that you can disguise as food. I love those. I've already shown it. But it's not enough! Make more! Oh, you're so annoying. Fine. I'll take lip gloss and hide it in a cupcake. I'll need a silicone mold for it. I need to fill it with hot glue. First, I will add some glue on the bottom of the mold. This should be enough. Now, place a lip gloss container inside. And fill the mold with glue on the top. Put a lot in, but don't overdo it. And I need to apply some glue to the container lid to make it look like delicious frosting. <laughs> I'll cover the sides of the lid and then add more glue on the top. Mm -hmm. Awesome! <laughs> this is so much fun! Mm -hmm. Let's put this here. Now I will leave the glue to set. Oh, what's this? It's a subscription plane. When it flies in, everyone subscribes. Well, I don't know. I'm sure it will work. Well, perhaps. Right, the glue has set. Time to paint it! <laughs> ah, but let me! I'm the best painter! <laughs> okay! Oh, I love it! <laughs> More here! Pink! Ah, that's my favorite! <laughs> oh! There! What would you do without me? Paint it myself? Oh, fine. Now I only need to glue on some sprinkles to make the cupcake look more like the real thing. I'll use some round sprinkles this time. I'll do it my way. Like this. And now some more. And shake off the excess. Done! Why 
is this delicious looking cupcake? Not edible at all! <laughs> Sam, you look like a fairy! Have you come to send me to a ball? No way! I've come to make sure you are shooting the video! I am, I am! I'm thinking of another way to hide makeup! Oh, right! The case is just as round as a lollipop! That's it! I hope you are not going to take real lollipops from a poor slime for this! Nope, but it could be payback for your stealing my stash! <laughs> Fine, I won't do it! I'll use polymer clay! Phew, my candies are safe! Safe for now! <laughs> I'll roll out three balls of polymer clay into thin strips. I really love these colors. I don't. Why is that? Because. Because it won't be a real lollipop. But you've asked me yourself to do it for a video. Well, I hoped. You won't get candies for me. I'm not Sue. Right, I'll twist colored strips together like this. And then wrap a white strip in between them, shaping it like a lollipop. Mm hmm. These candy decorations for makeup will get people craving for candy even without candies. No way! I know what I'm talking about. We need two of these lollipops. Poof! Now I need to glue a wooden stick and leave the clay to set. Take this! A bell? To wake up slimes or put it on your head? Oh, come on, it's a hint! <laughs> a bell? Hmm, I don't get it. I think our viewers did. You need to click the bell under the video to know about new videos on the channel. Got it? Uh, take your bell and leave. Use slime bell ringer. And I only need to glue the powder to the lollipop parts. Oh, by the way, be careful with the glue gun. You know, it's really hot. I'm always super careful. I've never burnt myself with hot glue. I think. We put this over the top. And done! Oh, simple and elegant! So unlike you! Hey, wait! Unlike me, you'll see! Well then, I'll make the last thing without him! I've taken this paper roll from the kitchen. I'll make a case for makeup brushes out of it. I'll disguise it as an Oreo package. Everyone on our channel likes Oreos. Give a thumbs up if you agree. Did someone say Oreo? No, I said double-sided tape. Oh, I'll better go. Haha, <laughs> it always works. <laughs> right, I'll stick the double-sided tape to an image of an Oreo package. Neatly, no wrinkles, or it won't look like the real thing. To get smooth edges, I'll make small cuts all around the edges and fold them in. Stop right there! I need that! Yes, of course! I love this! I'll cut a piece of Velcro and glue it inside. Oh, there. Press it. And another one. It looks Perfect! Now take a piece of felt, roll it up, and insert it. Just apply some glue carefully along the edge and press it. Now, I only need to make a bottom and a lid. Out of cookies! What? No, no, no! Cookies leave crumbs! I don't need them on my brushes! But a picture of a cookie will do! I'll glue the images on round pieces of felt. And glue one piece to the bottom. And I'll glue the second cookie image into the velcro. Done! <gasps> what do you mean? Well, here, look! It's just like magic!
hope Sue won't find her makeup now and I will be able to use it all I want. She won't find it if I don't tell her. And I won't tell her if you give me real candy. What? Why, oh. you little slime? <laughs> Hey guys! Today I want to make something out of polymer clay. Oh, what? Wh what's this, Sam? So it's a nightmare! What happened? What's all this mess? Did you rob a phone case store or something? No, Sue, I just can't pick a phone case. Well, what's wrong with these? This one seems fine. Oh, Sue, Sue don't you understand? <laughs> Good enough for me. <laughs> oh, that's the problem, huh? <laughs> yes, they aren't helping me express my individuality. <laughs> oh. Personally, I don't see anything funny about it. <laughs> Sammy, come on, don't pout. I think I know how to solve this problem. How? You like Oreo cookies, don't you? How about an Oreo case for your phone? What? Oreo case? I want it so much! Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> well, Sammy, let's get to work then. So, guys, today we're gonna make an Oreo phone case. We'll need polymer, clay, and your usual white phone case. First, take the clay and knead it nicely. We need to put two colors together, brown and black, so that it looks like cookies. So, what is it, Sam? Could you use a blue phone case instead? Well, no, Sam, because the cream in Oreo cookies is white. Oh, well, okay then, Sue. Now we need to mix black and brown together like this. Then we roll out the clay to get it flat. Nice! Now let's try to use a rolling pin on our dough. Keep going, keep going. Almost there. Now what, Sammy? Maybe you'll use a yellow case? No, Sam, I told you that we need a white one. Uh, What's the matter, huh, Sam? Uh, okay, okay, I was just thinking I could still use a white one. It would match my evening suit perfectly. Oh, Sammy, Sammy. You never change, do you? Come on, Sue, don't be angry with me. Guys, let's all give this video a thumbs up to me. Instead of angry. Okay, okay, I'm not angry. We need to cut the clay so that it's the size of the case. There, great. Let me get this out of the way. There we go. Now, let's cut the corners. Cool. Guys, we're getting to the most interesting part here. We'll need a clear image of an Oreo cookie to take a good look at the pattern and then repeat it. I think this is perfect. Ooh, bring it on. Sorry, Sue, I couldn't get it to you on time. Hey, keep going. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? To recreate the pattern, I'll need this kind of tool. It will help me repeat the smallest details of the cookie pattern. Hey, Sue, while you were taking it slow, I already made a template for you. Wow, thank you, Sammy. There, now we have to repeat the cookie pattern, guys. Gotta be careful. Let's make the word Oreo clear and nice. I wonder what we've got. <gasps> oh, it's just right. I'll need an old toothbrush now. Oh, so that's where my old toothbrush is. Great, now for the most difficult part. We have to make a lot of small parts, just like the details on the real Oreo cookies. Let's go. We'll start with the little stripes that will stick to the sides of our case. Hey, this is fun. Listen, Sue, why do you need so many little worms? <laughs> These aren't worms, Sammy. These are for decorating our case. Here, look. Oh, Sue, you'll have to make a whole lot of little worms. I'll help ya. Oh, thank you, Sammy. And while we're busy making little worms, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You don't want to miss cool new videos in fact. So we're all ready here. Don't mention it, Sue. Helping you is my duty. Yes, Sam, it would have taken much longer without you. Now I only need to stick all these little bits and pieces so that it looks just like a real Oreo cookie. 
and attach these little flowers here. On we go! Here's what we've got, guys. Uh, two. What is it, Sam? It's beautiful, but if I put this case in my pocket, it'll get all crumpled. I mean, it's soft like Play-Doh. Uh, I guess you're right, Sammy. Hmm. To harden our case, we should leave it in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes at 120 degrees. That's what I'm gonna do now. Interesting. Guys, have you ever baked your clay crafts in the oven? Come in and tell me about it. I'll go watch Sue so that she doesn't have to me. Look, guys, it's awesome! Sam! Come take a look! Sam, where are you? Wait, what's that weird smell? I'm here, Susie! What happened to you? Oh, don't you worry, Sue. It's just that I decided to get brighter! Well, what do you say? What have you done? Everything's okay. I just decided to bake my crafts to harden them, but they melted instead, so turned into a puddle! Oh, Sammy, your crafts were made of Play-Doh. Only special kind of clay gets hard when heated. Okay, to create our Oreo foam case, we need to make another cookie-shaped cover like this one here. To avoid doing all this tedious work again, we'll make an impression of the first part. We'll need corn starch and silicone. Sam, have you seen the silicone gun by any chance? Here you go. Thanks, Sammy. I'll mix corn starch and silicone in a bowl. We're supposed to get a clay-like substance as the result. Interesting. I mean, we're making a clay-like substance to make a mold for our polymer clay. That's crafting for you, right? Great. Look what we've got now. To make a mold, we need to roll out our silicone mask. Ooh, that feels nice. We did a good job. Okay. Now let's take the first part of our Oreo case and press it into our silicone. Wow, Sue, can you make a mold shaped like me? What for, Sammy? I'll assemble a huge Sam army! <laughs> <gasps> oh no, Sammy, you alone are more than enough for me. <laughs> we need to leave the mold to set for Great, I think our mold is all set. We'll carefully take out our case part now. <gasps> Great! Oh, how much longer, Sue? Where's my Oreo phone? I'm so eager to surprise everyone! Have some patience, Sammy, we're almost done! <sighs> Okay. I'm going to roll out another piece of clay and fill the mold with it. Hop. There, carefully now. Yes, just like that. I'll fill the empty space with the remaining clay. Uh-huh. Right, let us use all the clay. Sue and I are very thrifty. Give a like if you agree. Awesome, you know what's next? It's going into the oven! Sue! Don't rush! Why not? You asked me to hurry, didn't you? I haven't cleaned all the Play-Doh off the oven yet! Oh, you Sammy Pummel! Hooray! Both parts of the Oreo case are finally ready! Let's put them together now! We'll need super glue and a small piece of thick fabric to do it. First, we'll glue the back lid to the cover. There, great! Sue, may I take my case yet? No, Sammy, if you want to speed it up, help me and glue this piece of fabric to the front lid. Uh, no! Super glue! No, Sue, you will definitely think glue does something! I won't be able to get it off! Okay, we'll glue our piece of fabric here. Now we'll paint our fabric brown so it doesn't stand out. Sammy, could I borrow some brown paint, please? Sure, Sue! Wow, that was so fast! I could use a brush, too. Be careful with it, Sue, it's a professional artist brush! All right, Sammy. Let's paint it. There. We only have to assemble two parts together now. To do it, I'll apply some glue on the inner part of the cover. And put the lid on it. And that's our final touch. Yay! Wow, it looks so awesome! Guys, do you like our Oreo case? Be sure to comment and tell us. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell! Wow, so you did such a great job! Come on, give it to me now! You're so impatient, Sam! Here you go! Wow! What is that? Is that an Oreo cookie? No, no, my friends, it's an Oreo case! See how it opens? And what it is? Imagine!
and you're walking down the street, and then your phone rings. So you pull out your Oreo phone, and everyone around you is surprised. They say, what? Is that an Oreo cookie? But no, it's an Oreo phone, my friends. You want to learn how to make such cool things and surprise everybody? Then subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. We have so many interesting things in store for you. Bye-bye now. This has been a real candy feast, and you say stop? But we had to leave something for shooting a video! Oh, Samantha, we need to shoot a video! Nah, don't worry, Slime, we'll think of something. How can we if there's nothing left and we wanted to make a video about sweets? Oh, Samantha, get up and start thinking! Oh, well, I'll just take some jam and some peanut butter and make a sandwich, and that'll be your video. Oh, oops! <laughs> it's not oops! It's a catastrophe! Now we won't make a video about sweets. Won't make our viewers happy. Why are you always panicking, Drama Llama? If there's no real sweets, we'll make artificial ones. Artificial sweets? Well, yes. It's better for your teeth and nothing will spoil. Then let's go make them. Nah. First, I'll play a bit and you'll clean up in here. Samantha! That's my name. And you are Slime Sam. And if you want a new video for your channel, get to work. Dear viewers, you've just witnessed a mistreatment of the channel star. I need your subscriptions and likes to comfort me. Thank you for your understanding. Mm, poor me, I'm like Slime Darella. Oh. Oh. I've cleaned up, ready to shoot, and Samantha still isn't here. I have no idea how you can make artificial sweets. Here. Here what? We will use these to make sweets. Um, paper, straws, a glue gun, a tape! What? How? I don't get it! You're going to see everything in action and understand. And hello everyone! Samantha is here and we're going to make a cool sweet kingdom for the drama llama so he doesn't freak out. I don't freak out! Uh-huh, so I see. Go get some paper cupcake liners from the kitchen. We are going to have something sweet? You'll see. Go! And we'll make the cream. Let's take a white napkin, cut it in half, like this. And now wrap it around a pencil. Nice and tight. And press from both sides. Go slowly and gently here. Don't tear the napkin. And we'll get something like a wrinkle tube. Now let's take it off the pencil. And we'll need a few of these. Samantha, while I was looking for the liners, I thought we could use some sprinkles. We could. Well done. Give it all here. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> but the sprinkles aren't for the cupcakes. What? Explain. I want to know. <laughs> you are uh, getting ahead of things. Uh, Go draw a river on a piece of paper. Draw a river? Mm, that I can do. And I'll take this paper cone with the same diameter as the bottom of the liner and stick some double-sided tape over it. Oh, it's so sticky. There. Let's glue the cone into the liner. And now, cover the cone with the paper tubes we've prepared. We need to cover it to the top. Now, let's put a cherry on top. It's a small pink pom-pom. We only need to attach our cupcake to a straw. And we'll have a cupcake tree. Ooh, what a cupcake! Let me try it! Well, here… Oh, why does it smell like paper and tape? Because, silly! What have I told you about artificial sweets, remember? Oh, I think I'm starting to understand what you mean. And here are two cupcake tree friends. Let's plant them in our sweet kingdom. I'll take the lid from the box as a base. And attach our beautiful trees with tape. Samantha, is there going to be no food at all in our sweet kingdom? Well, actually, there will be one. Here. <gasps> Sugar? No! Oh, it's salt. Why do you need so much? To make it beautiful. <gasps> beautiful. There. And we'll add some of the sprinkles you brought. Yay! Sprinkles ring! Sam, did you draw the river? 
Well, yes, here. Hmm, a bit lopsided, but it'll do. Oh, oh no, how can you put glue on my beautiful drawing? That's exactly <laughs> how we're going to make a jelly river. A glue river? Well, fine. It'll be really awesome. Look, we'll apply some hot glue onto the river drawing. I remember to be careful when working with the glue gun, and you should as well. Now, let's allow this part to set. And apply some glue again. And we'll need to repeat that all over our river. Doesn't that look like jelly? It looks so yummy, I even want to take a bite. But I won't. Good thinking. We'd better cut our river out. Be careful now. Cut it as close to the glue as possible. There. And put it on its place. So pretty. And uh, don't we need a bridge across the river? Wow, Slime Sam gets wise ideas. Hmm. Oh, relax. Uh, why don't we make the bridge like peppermint candy? Oh, let's do it. Pass this trust to me and I'll stick them to the half of a tape roll. Finally, tape is good for something. I approve. I'll remove the upper layer from the tape and let's go! <laughs> one color, then another one. Thank you! <laughs> Setting our bridge over the river. Wow! I can see everything from this bridge! I can even see viewers subscribing and hitting the bell button! Phew, those artificial sweets made me really hungry. But there's nothing interesting in the fridge. In this situation, I can't even eat an apple. Let's rock! Mm -hmm. Are you making a house here? Yes, a house, but not for a slime. Hey! Well, you've had enough. Mm. Right, I've made the base for the house from cardboard and glue a little lace curtain, see? Now, I only need to connect the sides. Oh, it's not a house, it's a piece of cake! It's a cake house, but of course it needs to be decorated. How? With the same straws we used before. I already know what to do! Wait, first we'll stick the door on like this. And now let's stick the siding on. Not all. Now we're going to make a beautiful roof for the house. Uh, but that's not beautiful at all. We'll decorate it. We'll need some tubes from napkins, like the ones for the cupcakes. Let's stick some double-sided tape on top and on the back wall. And stick the napkin cream on top. Wait, wait, these sprinkles won't hold. But pom pom sprinkles will. Pom! And. Uh, don't forget this one! You know everything, don't you? I do. Let's put the cake house in its place. Mm -hmm. Oh! Mm -hmm. Awesome! I'm off! It's not done yet! But. Oh, fine, I'll wait. She asked me to go away, making something by herself. Huh. She took paper clips, a wooden stick, paints, paints! She's painting something herself, though that's my element! Samantha, can I see? No, wait! Uh, how much longer? I'm done, come here! Yay! I'm here! Here! <laughs> what? What's that? It's a rake. Uh, what am I going to do with it? You can jump on it. What? I'm just kidding, look! It's so relaxing.
Give it to me! Oh, it really is. Give a thumbs up if you liked our healthy sweet kingdom. And I'm off to rest. Bye bye. And I'll rest here. It feels so good. If you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends, make them happy, and don't forget to hit that bell button so you know when a new video is ready. Another day, another chocolate bar. Ah, really? Holy cannoli, I'm so lucky! Sam, why did you open so many chocolate bars and not finish any of them? Oh, shoot. Guys, long time no see. I'm not the slime I was before. Now I'm the head of the most gigantic chocolate factory in the world! So what were you doing, blind tasting the main competitor's chocolate? Sue, your friend is a main successor to Willy Wonka's great cause! I thought it all through. My signature product will be chocolate slimes. Very interesting. And who's going to produce them? You, obviously. <laughs> yeah, who else? We should get started as soon as possible before my competitors steal the idea. The first batch of one million slimes must be ready today! <laughs> How many? Sam, I can't do that. Let's try to make one to start. No, Sue, it's unacceptable. You see, we need to explode the market, make it really loud. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. <laughs> Hi, guys. Which name will suit my company? What do you think? Please write your suggestions in the comments. So, Sam, what is your brilliant business plan? Oh, we're gonna make the biggest chocolate slime on Earth! We? We'll need a lot of white glue. Yep, let's pour it out into our container. No, Sue, truly, can you imagine? There are only five golden tickets of Willy Wonka's in the whole world, and all of them were in my chocolate bars. If that's not a sign, I don't know. Someone ate too much sugar. Ha, what? Willy Wonka would appreciate my hobby. Well, well, I think we'll all appreciate it soon. Meanwhile, bring the brown paint for us. Guys, would you like to work at Sam's Magic Chocolate Factory? Write in the comments. Here's the paint. Isn't it perfect, huh? Just what we need. Let's mix it well with the glue. Mmm, so yummy. Sam, you understand it's inedible, right? Inedible doesn't mean not tasty. Glutton slime. You better bring me the last ingredient. I've already prepared everything. Great. Now, guys, we need to mix everything especially well. I hope our detergent didn't seem edible to you. <laughs> uh, of course not! How silly do you think I am? <laughs> well, I just think you like food too much. There's no denying that. Why should the chocolate be left lying around? Sam, wait, you'll miss the most interesting part. Sue, who do you think I am? I'm a great businessman. I'm good at multitasking. Oh, yeah? Can we expect a book with business tips written by you? <laughs> Why not? And not just business tips, I have a lot to give advice on. Oh, no doubt, Sam. By the way, our slime is ready. Oh, that's so tasty. All right, what now? Hmm. Voila. Wow, where did you find this? I know some places. <laughs> You're not an ordinary slime. Did you have any doubts? Not even for a second. We need to paint the jar with this color. Got it. And this paint is for the cover. I can see you got down to business seriously. You bet. Great sweet deeds are ahead of us. My factory will be the most beautiful. Mmm, I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the case of Sam, it's those who will not work shall eat. <laughs> the main thing is that my factory will be the most magical. There you'll be able to find anything you've ever wanted but couldn't find.
Like huge Nutella? Exactly. You like it? Of course. Guys, do you remember how we cooked real Nutella? Did you watch that video? Tell us in the comments. By the way, Sam, did you know that chocolate wasn't always sweet? Actually, the word chocolate means bitter water in Aztec language. Nonsense, you must be joking. No, it's the absolute truth. Native Americans used to cover cocoa grains with water and blend them till the foam appeared. After that, they added hot chili pepper to the mixture. What? Terrible. Sue, didn't they know that you should mix cocoa with milk? <laughs> no, can you imagine that? That's because me and my chocolate factory weren't there. <laughs> Sam, sweetie, it was many thousands of years ago. And we're all set, look. Wow, it's even better than I expected. Sue, you are my genius assistant. Oh, Sammy, you're exaggerating. Hey, guys. Did you subscribe to our channel? Check it. Also, don't forget to hit the bell not to miss new cool videos. Now let's open our gigantic Nutella jar. Oh, yes, yes! Our legendary creation. Hmm. Mm, Sam, I'm afraid a spoon won't do. So pour it out right on the table. I'd never dare do this with real Nutella. See, I considered everything. Oh, it's so pleasant to the touch. And it looks like real Nutella, but without all the mess. <laughs> so this is a whole chocolate sea with chocolate waves. Just like at Willy Wonka's factory. Huh. Actually, there was a river. And a waterfall. As you say, Sir Factory Master. Here's a waterfall. We also need a chocolate cave. Uh, that's more difficult. Although... It'll work. Slick Slime Sam and his chocolate factory. to disturb you, but what about your batch of million slimes? You know, Sue, I gave it some thought and changed my mind. We'll do it differently. We'll open a chocolate studio instead of the factory. We'll have a peace production. <laughs> this plan appeals to me, especially considering that I'm your only employee. <laughs> Guys, would you like some exclusive sweets from Sam? Write in the comments and suggest some cool stuff we can make together with Sue. And subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to support our startup. Bye bye! Here. See? But, but I saw. 
It's just your imagination. Yeah? Come on, let's direct your imagination along a peaceful path. Hello, guys. Today, we're going to make candles. Candles. Yep, look. I've already prepared everything. A bear in the bathroom, and you want to make candles? Sammy, there's no bear in the bathroom. There is. <laughs> guys, you saw the bear, right? Tell Celia saw it. Sammy, Sammy, you'd better use your imagination to think of candle designs. <laughs> um, oh, shape them as something sweet. Guys, give a thumbs up if you love sweets, too. All right, Sweet Tooth, bring me a glass. A glass? What kind? Big or small? Colored? Or transparent? Or maybe with patterns? Oh, so many questions. <laughs> okay, I'll figure it out. Guys, making candles requires caution. Ask an adult to help you. Right, which color to choose? Aha! The first stage of candle making is melting the wax. There. I love watching this process. Let's add some fragrance. Mmm, bubble gum. And mix it. Oh, this color is absolutely amazing. Sammy, where's that glass? I brought three of them. Cool. I was thinking about making three different candles. Let's pour our blue wax into the glass. I'm a professional. I know what our crafts need. Guys, subscribe to the channel of the Super DIY Professional. You'll never regret it. <laughs> well, you're definitely a wonderful assistant. Why aren't you doing anything with that? I'm waiting for the melted wax to set a little. Now let's beat our slightly set wax really well. <laughs> Sammy, does this remind you of anything? Ice cream! Yep, I'll need this. Hi! Let's make an ice cream scoop. Carefully. Now we need to make a hole. Where have you seen an ice cream with a hole? Well, nowhere. We just need it for our candle. There. Look! Oh, a milkshake! Mm. Sammy, wait! You saw how we made it with your own eyes! Well, uh, yeah. It just looks so much like a real one. Guys, write your favorite milkshake flavors in the comments! <sighs> Guys, be careful with fire. This candle is very cool, but I can't wait to see the next one! What about you guys? Give a thumbs up if you agree! <laughs> oh, Sammy, I forgot the chocolate fragrance! Say no more, I'll be right back! I'll add a brown crayon in here. Any ideas what it'll be? Chocolate! <laughs> Correct, Sammy! This will be enough. Mmm, chocolate. <laughs> Sammy, it seems I can skip the question about your favorite sweet treat. <laughs> How can someone not like chocolate? Guys, you like chocolate, right? Right. If you do, you should subscribe to our channel to support the chocolate lovers community. <laughs> Looks like you're organizing a chocolate lovers club. Why not? Oh, what do you need that for? We're gonna whip the wax. I know, it's whipped cream. Exactly. Let's carefully put our wax cream into a pastry bag. And cover our chocolate with it. Mmm. For decoration. <gasps> Cinnamon? Where did you find it? I know places. This hot chocolate is so cool! Susie, what if that bear appears again? What should I do? Again with the bear? But I really saw it! Oh, Sammy, I thought that the candles would distract you from the thoughts about that bear. No! Huh. Well, we're going to make a super candle. Even your bear will like it. Oh, smells like cookies. For now, it smells like vanilla. Guys, do you like vanilla scent? By the way, be really careful with the knife. 
Right, let's use the ice cream scoop again. But this time, we'll make a flat shape out of our wax. And add the pieces of brown crayon we cut before. There! Ba -da -ba -da, chocolate chip cookie! <laughs> what is the best thing cookies go together with? Everyone knows it, right, guys? Milk! Uh, it doesn't look like milk at all. Well, it just hasn't set yet, but everything is under control. And now we need to wait for the candle to set completely. All the bears will run away while we're waiting. Ta da! Wow, Susie! If I hadn't seen the candle making process, I'd really try to bite this cookie. I'm happy you like it, Sammy. Guys, today we made three sweet candles. Write in the comments which one is your favorite. My favorite is the milkshake. Mine is a milk and cookie. I'd munch on a real one right now. All right, I'll go get some for you. Go wash your hands in the meantime. Bye, guys. Beautiful candle for ya, bear. Let's be friends. Interesting. Oh, I'm running late. I need to get ready. I hope I have time for makeup. Where is my cosmetics bag? Here it is. Wait, where did it all go? What am I supposed to do? Sam! Sam what? I didn't do anything. You didn't take my makeup? As if I need your girly stuff. You better ask Samantha. Samantha will never confess, even if she took it. What should I do? Wait, I think there was something left. <gasps> yes, I knew it! Right, I may not get to the meeting today, but at least I'll hide my makeup well. Hi, guys! Most of my makeup is gone. But to make sure nobody finds the rest of it, I've decided to hide it where Sam and Samantha won't look. Inside fruit! Give a thumbs up if you also believe that Sam and Samantha won't find it there. We'll start with the base, liquid foundation. I want to turn it into pomegranate. We'll need this styrofoam ball cut into half like this. Aha! My craft sense is tingling, crafting something without me. No, no, Sammy. I was just tidying up and found this styrofoam ball, and… Oh, you're tidying up. Then I'm off. Yes, yes, go, or I'll make you tidy up too. Oh, no! <laughs> Right, let's continue our craft. We'll make a dent in the ball, the size of the foundation bottle. Styrofoam is so soft, so it's easy to do it with your fingers. Like this. And the same goes for the second half. Great. Now let's place our foundation bottle into the dent. Ah, <gasps> a perfect fit. Let's use the glue to connect the halves. It's super glue, as you can see. Not using hot glue here. It can create a gap. We don't need it. Let's press our halves together. Like this. It doesn't look like a pomegranate, right? But this will help. We'll need some dark red felt to create the pomegranate skin. We'll use special fabric glue to attach the fabric to the ball. Let's apply the glue like this in one strip. And carefully glue the fabric to the ball. And we'll repeat that with all four sides of the fabric. Apply some glue. And press. Don't rush it, though. OK, now let's cut off the excess to make sure the fabric fits perfectly. Be careful with the scissors. Don't cut away too much fabric. You'll still need it to glue to the ball. Make sure there aren't any gaps. 
The felt should cover the whole surface. Guys, we don't cut away the corners. They will imitate the tips of the pomegranate skin. And this will help us make the skin look even more realistic. We'll take yellow fabric to imitate the inside of the pomegranate skin. And we'll attach it to the red fabric. Press it well to make sure it doesn't fall off. There! On each tip, nice and slow. It should look convincing. We'll need some paint and a paintbrush to give our pomegranate an even more realistic look. We'll use yellow paint just like the inside of the pomegranate skin. It looks almost done! Now let's cut the tips carefully. Uh-huh. And another one. Yes, just like this. The last thing we're going to need are these plastic half beads. Red, of course. We'll glue them inside. They will imitate the pomegranate seeds. I won't add too many. Yep, that's enough. This looks amazing! I can't believe it looks so realistic! And it works! I think it's even more convenient this way. Now I won't break it like the last time. Huh, this shade is a bit too dark. I think I bought it when my skin was tan. But okay. So this is the start. How should I hide the rest? Oh, I love this lip gloss. It smells just like… Coca-Cola! Are you drinking Coke without me? No, Sammy, it's lip gloss. Do you want to try it? Oh, no, no. Keep your girly stuff to yourself. <laughs> to make sure Sam doesn't change his mind and doesn't steal my lip gloss, I need to hide it well. I think this artificial banana will do perfectly. Let's cut the banana in half carefully like this. Be careful with the knife or ask an adult to cut it for you. And we need to make a hole inside. Huh. Cement? Hmm. I need my favorite guy to help me. Sammy! Who called for a master ball tray? I need you to take out the cement from the banana. Uh, don't ask what for. Will do. Who could have thought that there would be cement inside of an artificial banana? If you're surprised too, give a thumbs up. It wasn't easy, but it's done. Thank you, my little master. <laughs> it looks great. Only white color is a bit unnatural. But no problem. We'll use yellow paint again. And paint all the white parts. Well, those that are visible, that is. <laughs> While the paint is drying, we'll use hot glue. I need to secure the lip gloss inside the banana to make sure it doesn't fall out. There. Carefully now. I don't want to break anything. And we'll glue the second half, the cap. Carefully again. There. And here's the result. Let's try to open it. Wow! Mmm. Very convenient. Which is your favorite exotic fruit, guys? Mine is carambola. But now it's not only the most delicious thing in the world, but it's also a great place to hide my favorite mascara. I can't think of a better place. To imitate a carambola, we need lots of glue. But this time, we'll use both the glue gun and glue sticks. We need to glue the sticks to the mascara. They will soften and take the required shape. And we're going to need five sticks. This will be the base for the carambola. Let's cut the tips a bit to give it a more rounded shape. But to make the carambola bigger, we'll use more glue. We'll apply it like this and leave it to dry. Don't be shy with the glue here. But don't overdo it either. Our carambola should keep its shape. All five sides are done! Then we need to prepare some water. And now we'll use a construction blow dryer. But please, use it only under adult supervision. Wet your fingers a bit. And then smooth out the surface of our carambola. Repeat it until you get the desired smoothness. Let's add a bit of green color to make it look more like the real thing. But only on the edges. Dab, dab, dab. Perfect. Sue, are you painting without me? Well, I'm, uh, um… Doesn't matter. I only wanted to say that Gary and I were racing and I won! 20 times in a row. Sam, but Gary is a snail. He can't… Gary is the best snail in the world! 
my friend. Give a thumbs up if you saw the videos with Gary. <laughs> and I'm off to play with tater tots. Go on, take your time. And I'll finish making my sly crafts. I'm going to use this mascara. So I need to cut the caramel 